Hello, I'm Greg Rutgang, Rutgang Mons, and welcome to episode 18 of season 4 of My Power PC series, the first video of 2023. We're in today's video, we will be looking at this card right here, the NVIDIA Quadro 4. This is uh, the, I forget which model this is, but we'll uh, put in an annotation down here. This is the one you would need to do this. Uh, but this is a special card. This is a PC card, and this is a workstation card. But it's got something special about it. It's literally the same thing as a uh, 4600 Ti from a Mac. Um, it's the same card. It's even laid out the same. It has all the same capacitors and chips on it. It looks identical. And there's a reason behind that because it is the same card. There's no difference between the two. The only difference is a, a, a difference that we're going to talk about uh, coming up in the video uh, where we're going back in time to visit Colin over at his house and talk about how you flash one of these. And uh, it took us all day to figure out because the documentation online is not exactly clear. There is some stuff online and it's very detailed, but it's kind of hard to follow because it's just kind of a compressed uh, paragraph. And uh, well, multiple paragraphs compressed into like one paragraph. It's, it's hard to read. And uh, we missed one very important step in the beginning, which would have made this a lot easier. So uh, I'm going to spoil some of the uh, stuff coming up here and explain to you what happened. Basically, there is a jumper on the back of this that uh, changes the hardware ID on it. This jumper will tell you uh, tell the firmware which firmware is supposed to be on it. So when you flash it, it will allow you to flash it. Okay, and there's a, a jumper for a Quadro card, a um, the TI forty six hundred and something else somewhere on the back of this. We didn't know about that, so we went through heck trying to figure it out. I'm going to try to condense the call and stuff down as much as I can and go through all of it. Pretty much basically fast forward through a lot of it. Uh, you'll watch it all happen. A lot of troubleshooting, a lot of headaches to make this into this. Okay. Uh, but uh, we did figure out eventually the only thing you have to do to make this card work is change that jumper and then flash the firmware from this onto this. And then you have a fully functional card. That's the only thing you gotta do. The problem is the chip on these, at least some of them, this one I think is different than, as it's like this one here, I have a lot of these TI-4600s. This has the same chip on it. That one doesn't. So some chips were easier to flash than others probably. This one you should be able to plug into a PC and flash the firmware straight on to it. Um, the problem is the chips are kind of crappy and it will fail a few times, but it should work. The better solution is to put it in an EEPROM reader and just flash it. And uh, it will probably fail a few times, but it will eventually flash. That's what we did. So you take it off the board and you just put it on the EEPROM re uh, reader flash the Mac firmware on it, it's done. The problem is we didn't know that at the time. We kept trying to make custom uh, files for it. We got it to the point where the Mac would see it and boot, but it would freeze because Macs don't support Quadro cards. And we basically made a weird hybrid Mac Quadro firmware at one point, where the only thing we literally had to do is take the firmware off of this, <laughs> which, yeah. You, you'll see that in the video. It's a very long video. I'm going to try to condense it down as much as I can. But I think this video is going to be a two-parter because it's going to take a while to get to the point where um, we will you know, be able to get to where we will be basically building this. And uh, I don't want the video to be too long. Um, I try to condense down my videos now. It never works, but I'm trying to. But yeah, we're going to be turning this Quadro 4 into a TI-4600 Mac Edition for like a third the price. You can get these off of eBay. There's a lot of these on eBay, usually compared to these, which you can never find, or even the PC version of it. 
and they're extremely rare and they keep going up in value. I've got a few, I got lucky, I got them cheap. But um, basically these are 300 plus dollar cards. These are 100 less dollar cards. And it's the same card. And it's really easy to do. Colin, if you don't want to do it, Colin will be willing to do it for a fee, of course. You can send your card out to him. He'll flash it for you, test it, make sure it works, and he'll send it back to you. Um, he's willing to do it now that we know how to do it. And like I said, you literally just change the jumper on the back and flash it. That's it. We didn't know that at the beginning. But ultimate goal is to turn this card into this card, only of course shorter. Uh, this is the card off of one of my um, Sonnet Dual 1.8 uh, Quicksilvers. Um, the heat sinks, up until at least a year or two ago, uh, I don't know, it might still be available. You could get these thermal take heat sinks straight from Amazon. I bought a bunch of them when I got a huge number of these cards. We're going to be putting this on this, but that will probably be in the part two. This is part one. Uh, part two will be episode 19 probably. Uh, I'll see in the end after editing if it's actually worth um, putting that in there too. But it's probably going to be part two. So anyway guys, let's go back in time and see Colin. Hi guys, we're in the DOS lab again with uh, DOS Dude One, aka Colin Mister. Say hi, Colin. Hello. And today we are flashing a uh, Nvidia Quadro Four into a TI um, Forty Six Hundred, um, which will be Mac compatible. I decided uh, to send this card to him probably two or three years ago because I just wanted to see him film a video on it. I already have my share of Forty Six Hundreds. Because I'm, I've been pretty lucky on eBay, but um, hey, this is actually a cheaper solution to get one of these cards, and um, we're going to see what it will take to get it to flash. So we've got this monitor lined up here, and we are going to uh, flash it and pray this ROM works. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so we're just going to power on the machine here, and I've got a flash drive installed with a copy of FreeDOS on it as well as a copy of NV Flash. So I'll just go ahead and boot from that. And the monitor is plugged into our target video card, so it is indeed working. All right, so once we're at the DOS prompt, you can see it detects the contents of the drive. We have NV Flash. So all I want to do is do NV Flash dash dash save, and then the name of the ROM. So we'll name it Quadro or PC dot ROM. Here's an extra one. Yep. All right, so as you can see, the original ROM has been saved successfully. So at this point, that's all we're going to need to do. And now we need to switch over to a PowerPC-based Macintosh um, to run a special application called the uh, GeForce 4 Ti ROM Maker that uh, somebody has made. And we'll go ahead and use that to convert this exact ROM into a Mac-compatible ROM. So go ahead and shut the machine off and we will get this plugged into a PowerPC Mac. All right, so we did a little bit more research and it turns out the best method to flash these cards, um, the Quadro 4 900 XGL, is to just simply use the TI 4600 Mac compatible ROM and basically just convert this card into a TI 4600 or a GeForce 4 TI 4600. Uh, so we'll go ahead and turn the machine back on again and simply flash that ROM. So we're basically using the ROM that goes to this card here. Let's see here, zoom in. So what are we doing now, Colin? Doing the tape mod so the computer can actually power on with this card in it. Fun. Okay, all done. Awesome. All right. Cool. Let's see if we at least get a boot screen. Are you on the quote unquote ADC side? Yeah. That might be the problem. Hmm. Nope. You're going to have to flash it. 
with the other mech, Rom. Yippee. So, let's try to flash this again and see what happens. I guess we can come back to this one. Yep, project for another day. Oh well. I think I'm done. All right, Colin, so what happened so far? So we tried the original Macrom from the legitimate GeForce 4 TI-4600. It did not boot with that, or at least it didn't show video. We tried the modified Macrom for the TI-4600. That also did not work. Um, and now the last thing I want to try is this GeForce 4 TI ROM maker um, that was made many, many years ago. Um, for these Quadro, or not really the Quadro cards, but more the um, the GeForce 4 cards. So the TI-4200, 4400, and 4600. And based on what I've seen, if the card we have is correct, and it's an NV25 base card, we should be able to do this. So I've already copied the PC ROM that I dumped using NV Flash originally right here. And basically what we're going to do is use this application to convert this ROM into a Mac compatible ROM, at least in theory. So the application is called GFTI ROM Maker. Just open it. It'll ask to select the input ROM. So we'll just select that there. And it'll say, what do you want to save it as? So I'll say quad for Mac. And ROM created. So the resulting ROM is right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy it to this flash drive. So we can, um, I don't want to replace that, I'll name it something different. I can't name it too long because it is, um, it is DOS and it doesn't support very long file names. All right, so now that modified file is on there and well, we're not actually using DOS to flash it, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and take this back over to the PC and we'll flash it using uh, the EPROM programmer once again. All right, so now let's put this in the programmer and flash it with that modified. Here's the ROM we just added from the machine and we'll go ahead and program it. Yeah, in theory, the old chip should have worked. The one that was from the official card. Yeah. And as you can see, sometimes it just fails with this chip. We've tried two different ones of the exact same chip, and it does this every time, so it's going to have to keep trying until it works. It's just crazy. It keeps doing that. That's what we did last time. The whole point of this is to have a cheap Mac card and to do it easily. <laughs> and this hasn't been easy. <laughs> There we go. Got it. Sweet. All right, and let me do a verify a few times just to make 100% sure. All right. Sure. So yeah, it reads just fine. It's just writing that has problems. So it's verified three times in a row. That's good. Let's go ahead and take it out and solder it back on. All right, again. All right, so the chip's soldered on. We'll go ahead and put the heatsink on and give it a test. All right, we've got it installed. Let's go ahead and see if it works. Hey! And it works. How about that? We should have just went with the first idea of a... Yeah, that was my first idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we almost gave up on this. I know. Can you believe that? <laughs> Whew. Uh, what? I don't know if OS 10 is too happy with it. Uh, you've been having CPU issues too, so. Yes, I know. Let me try the other.
the ball that G4 graphite. Yeah, I could try it in that too. Okay, both well, DVI both ports work. work. That's, that's, that's awesome. The thing is still running though, that's the thing. I think the video driver doesn't like it. It's, it's, it's still on. On the that one form it said that you had to drop the NVIDIA drivers. You had to? Yeah. Well, you are. Then there's no point in this because you won't have graphics acceleration. Good point. You got a tire on there? On that one, I do. You might like Tiger better. All right, we'll try it. It's always fun custom modifying PC parts to work on that. Yeah, I don't think the Quadro was the best idea for this modification, but... Well, I mean, it's the cheapest idea for the modification. Yeah. Plus, yeah. in theory, it should actually uh, be a little more durable. In theory. In theory. I mean, I used the PC card, used the GF4TI ROM maker like I saw recommended, but we'll go ahead and swap to the uh, Graphite Power right. Mac, which has Tiger on it, and see what that looks like. Alright. Alright, let's try this again with the Graphite. Alright, this machine has Tiger installed, so we go straight into that. Alright. Oh, that's not good. That was it loading the video driver. I don't think this is the correct card. I don't think it has the right chipset. I bet it does. It just no. It said if it it said exactly this would happen if it didn't have the right chipset. Well, at least we had a successful failure. <laughs> it's as close to success as we can get yeah. with this particular card. Unless it was a Quadro 700, which I also have a ROM for. Well, There's it, no way to know, though. It sure. identified as a 900. It did in that machine, didn't it? Yeah. You know what? In that forum post, it did list the device IDs of the known compatible ones. Yeah. So I might put it back in. Doesn't like it. What's the uh, verbose say? I just don't understand why it wouldn't work, because this, I swear, it looks identical. It does. Boink. And it just hangs in verbose mode, which is exactly what it did on the, uh, in Leopard 2, so. Hmm. The drivers don't like this card. Let me plug it in to the PC, verify the device ID, yeah. and uh, make sure we actually have a compatible here. Okay, so what did you just find out? It is a Quadro 4 900 XGL like we saw before when we ran this and it has the correct device ID according to the forum I was looking at with this info, but OS 10 doesn't like it, so I'll have to figure out if there's something we can do about that. Okay, okay Colin, so what did we figure out? I read through this forum a little bit more and According to this, you can set some resistor configurations on the board to actually change the device ID of the card to a uh, GeForce 4 TI 4600. So in theory, the driver should be happy with that because I don't think the drivers in OS 10 natively support the Quadro 4, whatever this is, XGL 900. So we'll try that and see if that makes any difference. Awesome. Three is selected. R961 is empty, R962 is empty, and R963 is selected. So it just selects, when it says remove 963 and 961 and set R962, so we'll do that. So I'll put 963 on 962 and we're done. Yeah, in theory. In theory. Let's try it out. I'll make a preview for that. And a little behind the scenes information. This is the last project we're doing in DOS Lab, because I'm leaving in the next few minutes. Uh, it's been a long week, hasn't it, Colin? Yes, it has. And we just wanted one more video, and we've been filming this for so long, we're, we're determined to actually make it work.
<laughs> so would you be interested in doing this for people? Uh, maybe. Maybe? Probably. Because it would be cheaper than trying to find these usually broken... Yeah, I mean, if this works, I'll definitely do it, because now I'll know yeah. a method that does work. Yeah. But it would have to be the 900, whatever the heck it is. 900 XGL? What he said. Or XGL 900? What's yeah. that? All right, the resistor is set. So, I guess we'll go ahead and try it. Awesome. Hey! Uh-oh. Uh That's not good. Are those artifact lines? Yes. Shit. No, that's just the model. Save the boots OS 10, though. I doubt it. Well, that's, that's hope. What? What? Uh, I mean, it's kind of a success. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's really obvious on camera. It's kind of hard to see from here. Let's see what this exit has, at least. I mean... It works. Like, oh, it works. It could be the ABC. Hold on. Let's try the other DVI. You might have to reboot it. Yeah. Well, we've gotten a result. And it's a semi-okay result. I mean, it, it sort of works. So the ADC... The ADC on DVI port 2 is bad. Yeah. Which is fine because... I mean, it's a Mac ROM. Yes. Ha! Huh. <laughs> yes. All right, let's check it out here. There it is, GeForce 4Ti 4600, detected and working as intended. Do you have that um, GFX mark or whatever it's called? I don't think so, no. Because we could test it to see if it's stable. Oh, it's stable. Well, remember the one card that you built for me that uh, had a, a, a RAM overclock problem? Was that? I had to downclock the RAM to make it stable. What RAM, what card was that? Uh, the, uh, custom flashed, uh, 850 XT. Oh, that was the old ROM. I, I, I found a better ROM, I think. I can't remember. Well, I'll build that card into you, I guess. But, hey, this works. All right, let's try it in the in MDD. The MDD with Leopard. Yeah. And make sure that works. And if that works, we should be all set. Awesome. Okay, got video on there too. Yes, we do. Let's see how Leopard likes it. Oh, so far so good. I'm going to try the other port. Let's see what that looks like. If it does the same thing. <laughs> Oh, now that port's working fine. Maybe I just didn't have the DVI cable plugged in all the way. Either that or it might be an AGP speed thing. Because yeah. on the MDD, it should be running at four times. On the graphite, it should be running at two times. Yeah.
Well, both ports work. That's a, a that's good, good result, too. That's good. Uh-oh. That's, that's Your CPU. my CPU being yeah. stupid again. <laughs> it's not the card, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Yeah, and that's one of his uh, custom-built cards he's still experimenting with. Well, try CPUs. one more time, but if it doesn't boot, it doesn't boot, whatever. It definitely works perfectly fine in Tiger, though, so yeah, I think it is. Shield in theory working with it, too. I wouldn't see why it wouldn't. Yeah. There we go. There it goes. That's what I wanted to see. It looks happy. Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> it's got dual cool. DVI, which is awesome. It's actually really useful sweet yeah all right well i'll call that a success so in that case yes i would flash this for people yeah so if they would like if you to. guys are interested in getting a cheaper 4600 ti you just need a what quadro card is this again it's a quadro uh quadro 4 xgl 900 yeah can you show it show them that real quick that card there. If it looks like that with the exact layout of that, it should be the right card. Yeah, just make there, sure it's a Quadra 4 GL 900. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of different ones look like this. So. Yeah. So that's awesome. Um, guys, I'm not going to wrap up the video quite yet because I figure we might as well finish the card, but I need to do it at my house. I've got a new heat sink for it, which will cool a lot better than this one and work a lot better we've done this before with my 4600s we're going to do it to this we're also going to test this card and um yeah um but i'll end up in the video here um uh, for this part of the set uh, the, the video segment um colin thank you for having me i've had a great week yeah of course yeah, yeah. it was a fun time for sure it is it's been a great time for sure but anyway guys i hope um you enjoyed everything that happened over at DOS Lab. Um, and um, well, let's get back over to my studio. We'll see you there. And we are back from the past into the future. Welcome back to the future. Uh, here are the three cards I have just sitting here. Um, these are two official Mac uh, 4600 Ti's. And then there's the new 4600 Ti, which was based off of Quadro 4. And um, I'll tell you, show you just how close these cards are. Same capacitors, same chips. The only chip that's different on this one is the same on the other one. And that's the EEPROM chip. At least I think that's the EEPROM chip. Um, so this one might actually flash better, this chip here. I don't know if Quadros came with that one. But this card has the same chip as that card. Or this one is an SST. But anyway, that's really the only difference between these two cards now. Uh, the layout's almost identical. There's a few other spots here, like this one's got pinouts for VGA. Um, and this one has two silicon image chips there. This one does too, apparently. There and there. There and there. Uh, the back of the cards should look the same, more or less. Pretty close. Not really much of a difference. This is the reason why the card works so well. And the jumpers, let's see if I can find where the jumper is. Not sure where the jumper is, but I know there is a jumper on the back, which changes the hardware ID that allows you to do this. But, yeah, that is the completed card that Colin and I did. Um... I haven't actually added the, the video yet, but I am probably going to do this as a two-parter. So that's the end of today's video, but here's a preview for what we're doing to this card. In the next video, we will be making it look like this, only shorter. <laughs> and the only difference between this and a Mac card is the Mac card has ADC. This one has dual DVI and a 3D plug for those 3D shutter glasses, um, which I don't know how that would really be useful in a workstation card, but whatever. 
Um, but it, it, it would be a little more useful in today's world if you're using a DVI monitor setup and you want to run two. You don't have to use an adapter for the ADC. Um, and you can, of course, use the ADC adapter for the DVI on this. So either way, it still works well. And uh, yeah. So we're going to be making this card into this in episode 19 with this kit here. Um, it says it's for... 4200, 4400, and 4600, but it also works on the quadros. It's literally the same card. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in episode 19. And, uh, anyway, don't forget, I do have a Patreon. If you'd like to support me, there'll be a link in the description and at the end of the video. And, yeah, this has been a Rock Hand Mods video. See you guys. Hola, senores y senoritas. It's Mexican beer time. Oh, yeah. Anyway, guys, welcome to the first video of 2023. Nope, we're not doing it that way. It's funny, though. Yeah, it's going to be a good blooper. I needed that. Anyway, let's get to real, real filming here. I think this is episode 18. I hope it is, because otherwise I'm going to say the wrong one in the video. I'm not looking it up. I hope I can see these in the camera. We're about to find out. Okay. Hello, I'm Greg Rocky at Rocky Mods. It's the first video of 2023 where we are actually going to be looking at this card right here. This is a NVIDIA Quadra, uh, Quadro, Quadra, Quadro, Mac, not Mac, yeah, <laughs> let's try that again.